Today on Rappler. Former DepEd Undersecretary Chris Ablan denies he resigned over the laptops for sale fiasco. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. says the Duterte government's focus on enforcement in the war on drugs led to abuses in the government. President Marcos says granting U.S. access to Philippine bases could be, quote, useful if China attacked Taiwan. Filipino journalist Kong Corrales files a complaint against Facebook's Meta before the National Privacy Commission. Weightlifting sisters Rose G and Rose Jean Ramos bag five of the country's six medals at the 2023 Asian Weightlifting Championships. Star Wars actress Carrie Fisher receives a posthumous star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And a jury finds Ed Sheeran not guilty of unlawfully copying Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. PhilStar.com reports former Department of Education Undersecretary Chris Ablan confirms his resignation and says it, quote, has nothing to do with the laptop or Transpac reports of Rappler. Ablan was not yet part of the DepEd when the contract with Transpac was signed. Transpac allegedly failed to deliver a number of the laptops purchased through the DepEd Computerization Program, or DCP. But the November 2022 demand letter from Transpac obtained by Rappler was addressed to Ablan, when he was already DepEd under Secretary of Administration. Ablan tells Philstar, quote, in due time, I will answer point by point the issues raised by those reports in order to clear my name. Rappler has been trying to reach out to no avail. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. says a quote, Focus on enforcement during former President Duterte's bloody and controversial war on drugs resulted in quote, abuses by certain elements in the government. Marcos says most of the discussions critical of the human rights situation of the Philippines is, quote, derived from the policy that we undertook to fight the drug war. Human rights groups estimate between 27,000 to 30,000 Filipinos were killed in the war on drugs. Marcos then points to a commission his administration formed to, quote, cleanse the Philippine National Police, the chief implementer of the drug war. All senior officials in the PNP were asked to hand in their courtesy resignation as part of the controversial cleansing. Marcos says two resignations have been accepted and over 30 more are under investigation. In a later interview, Marcos refuses to assess how to dare to handle the drug war, saying, quote, I'm in no position to assess the administration of anyone else. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. says granting U.S. access to Philippine military bases was a defensive step that would be, quote, useful if China attacked Taiwan. Marcos's four-day visit to Washington included a summit with President Joe Biden and an agreement to update the country's 72-year defensive alliance, the Mutual Defense Treaty. Marcos did not respond directly when asked whether the United States could place weapons at the bases if China attacked Taiwan. Marcos says the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement was originally conceived to improve disaster responses. Tensions in the cross -Taiwan Strait, across the Taiwan Straits uh, seem to be continuing to increase then the safety of our Filipino nationals in Taiwan becomes of primordial importance. Marcos also says his agreement this year to grant the United States access to more military bases in his country was not intended for use for offensive action against any country. Journalist Gong Corrales files a complaint against Facebook owner Meta after he experienced online harassment from anonymous users on the platform. Corrales files a complaint with the National Privacy Commission to compel Meta to disclose information about the anonymous accounts who attacked and red-tagged him online. Corrales initially requested information on the accounts who red-tagged him. Meta responded by simply taking down the attacker's posts, saying it needs, quote, legal processes to provide Corrales with the necessary information to identify the perpetrators. The Data Privacy Act states an individual whose personal information is processed is entitled to, quote, reasonable access to, upon demand, the names and addresses of those who receive the subject's personal information. Such information will allow Corrales to take legal action and hold his attackers accountable. This marks the first time a Filipino journalist will be filing a complaint to hold an international tech platform accountable for online attacks. May the 4th, the annual unofficial Star Wars Day, is bittersweet for fans in Hollywood as Princess Leia actress Carrie Fisher, who died at 60 in 2016, receives a posthumous star on the Walk of Fame. Star Wars droids R2-D2 and C-3PO and a pair of stormtroopers come to the ceremony 
as well as actor Mark Hamill, director J.J. Abrams, and Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy. Fisher's daughter, actor Billy Lord, represents her mother at the ceremony, saying, quote, My mom is a double whammy, a Pez dispenser and has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Mama, you've made it. Hamill, who played Leia's brother Luke Skywalker, says, quote, It's sad that she's not with us today, but she wouldn't want us to be sad. She'd want us to have fun. She'd want us to laugh. A Manhattan jury finds Ed Sheeran not guilty of unlawfully copying Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. After the verdict, Sheeran thanks the jury for, quote, making the decision that will help protect the creative process for songwriters in the United States and around the world. The verdict comes after six days of trial and less than three hours of jury deliberations. The heirs of Gay's co-writer Ed Townsend sued Sheeran for copyright infringement, contending Thinking Out Loud copied the quote, part of Gay's song. Two similar lawsuits are pending against Sheeran in Manhattan, brought by investment banker David Pullman, whose company also owns copyright interests in the Gay song. Pullman says he and his lawyers had learned from the trial and says one of his lawsuits would be different, as it involves a copyright on the recording of Let's Get It On rather than just the sheet music. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok.